Yeah. Hi, everyone, and welcome to our first ever video podcast. I'm Anna Campos. I'm the owner of Circle Stitches in Salem, Massachusetts, and I'm calling in from Salem with my best friend, Jacob. <laughs> I'm Jacob. I am her best friend. Um, and recently starting to design patterns after going to Rhinebeck and getting extremely inspired. Um, and we're just going to talk about all the fun things that are happening in the store. Yeah, and hopefully you'll be excited to follow us along to talk about yarns that we're excited about and patterns that we're excited about. And hopefully we don't do a terrible job at this. So <laughs> thanks well, for tuning in. Maybe I'll, my what I'm wearing today is um, What the Fade by Andrea Mowry. Um, it has a mixture of garter stitch and some brio stitches. And it just is really nice. It goes along with like her whole little fade collection that she has going on. That's true. And you might start to notice that we have some color themes going. Um, we have very similar color tastes. Um, so shoes? This is, <laughs> that's true. Oh, that and, shoes. Hold on, how are we gonna? This. Oh. We have our matching BFF <laughs> shoes. We're all gonna think that we're contortionists now and we can fit into boxes. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, and so I am wearing, also by Andrew Mari, which was not intentional, this is the Weekender, knit in Malabrigo Rios, and one of my favorite colors, which is Frank Ochre. Okay. So let's talk about your cow. Yeah, so we're starting this podcast uh, on November, what day is it today? Eighth? Eighth, yeah. And uh, on November 6th was just Astrological Samhain, uh, which is, you know, if you're a witchy person like me, that's the beginning of the new year. So this seems like a fun time to start a whole new project mm -hmm. and a new podcast. And so what we're doing this month is we are doing a knit along for my Navaska shawl. And it's backwards. <laughs> So this is a shawl that I designed this year and just released now in the fall. And it was inspired by ski trips with my dad. I lost my dad last summer. So, you know, I'm processing my memories through knitting. And so we just kicked off our light and shadow knit along. And the reason for the name is that we are knitting them in nightshades and daylights, which are two beautiful yarns by our friends at Harrisville. So you can see light and dark and what the nightshades line is it's an all black yarn line but the colors are marled with you know a tone of a different color and i can actually show you their color card here so you can see that we have tones of black with like little dustings of color and the daylights is the same thing except that done on an ecru base and so if you want to join in on the knit along, you just need to pick um, the color of daylights or nightshades and it takes three skeins. And I'm gonna show you some examples of the colors. And actually I'm gonna pass them to you because I don't have enough hands. <laughs> and so even here, you can start to see that even though they're black, right, they have different tones in there. And so, I knit my first version obviously in the daylights and now I'm working on a nightshades version and I just realized that I didn't bring it over here so I'm gonna walk over and grab it while you show <laughs> those colors all right I haven't quite started mine yet I do plan to um, I'm thinking if I do when I do pick I do love this green color um, I just love all the little colors in there and the little, um, it's just like it's such a unique type of yarn um, and then Anna has her project shoot back. Yeah, and I'm here, and my bag is by Homebrew Fiber Co., one of my good friends, Rochelle. And so I am knitting my shawl we just started. Uh, this is stiletto, and you can see it's marled with pink, which I really love. And my original was done in daylights with, that's called Bloodshot, with a little bit of red. And so let's show you some of the daylight's colors. I'm just gonna drop stuff on the floor. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. We're on camera. We're, we're, gonna yeah. keep our we're doing a really good job right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so here are some daylight's colors. Right? And again, the color shifts are really, really subtle. This is caffeine with brown. This is lint with purple. And yeah, this one is chirp, which is with a green. And so I'm using stiletto because I already knit a sweater in the night shades with purple, so I figured that I shouldn't do also a purple tinted shawl, but pink is kind of close. So <laughs> that's what I'm working on. 
Um, this knit along is going to run until December 15th, and if you sign up on our website, it's definitely free to join, but you have a chance to enter to win a prize from Harrisville. And basically, whichever yarn you choose to knit it in, the prize is the opposite. So if you knit a nightshade shawl, you might win the same amount of yarn in daylights, or if you knit in daylights, you might win some nightshades. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so do you have any colors that you like to knit in particularly? Well... Obviously mustard, mm -hmm. as you can see. Mustard and purple tend to be my go-tos. And I'm in this just eternal love affair with, you know, black, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> I think we all kind of are. It's just our little comfort That's true. of black. Mm -hmm. I tend to be more, I obviously do the mustard a lot as well. Um, I am definitely tones of green and blue as well, and reds. Those are my, my go-tos. Yeah, and well, do you want to tell us about the hat that you're designing? <laughs> Um, put you on the spot. I know, and I don't even have it here. You didn't bring it with you no. to this. Oh my <laughs> goodness, for shame. Okay. We are the most prepared for this right now. We are so good. So good. Yeah. Well, so Jacob. We, we can talk about it. Though. We can. So Jacob and I unfortunately both lost our fathers, and you know, processing those losses through design is something that we're both doing. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your hat. So my hat is um, Fighting Spirit. I've been posting it on my Instagram a bit. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Fiber Dreams by Jacob. Um, it is to memorialize my father. Um, essentially, he passed away almost two years ago um, from leukemia. Um, so once it's released, I'm hoping the 23rd or 24th of November. My testers are working on it feverishly right now. Um, so once it's released, all of the proceeds to this um, are going to go towards cancer research. Um, probably I'm... I'm going towards Dana Barber is the um, place that I'm gonna donate to, mm -hmm. um, just because that's where my dad had most of his treatment done. Yeah. yeah, well, his hat is gorgeous and it's stranded color work. And even though it's not here to show you, I can tell you that it looks very awesome. And it's, mm -hmm. in, D it's in DK weight that you're doing um, it? Yeah, it's in DK weight and, um, well, Spin Cycle is the one that's like the DK. Yeah, so it's using Spin Cycle Dream State, which is like a light worsted, so you can work it at a DK mm -hmm. gauge as well. And then I just kind of started doing the Modify version that you actually kind of inspired me to um, knit up. Because I was like, when I first did it, I wanted, I love the gradient quality of Spin Cycle. But when I first knit my first sample, I the color work section wasn't quite long enough to kind of see that. So I started doing another version today, and it's... Um, the brim part that's it's like a five inch brim mm -hmm. that's on this hat is all in that spin cycle and then it switches to the main color with the spin cycle as the contrasting color yeah. so i'm going to go ahead and go on a limb here and say that i'm going to be fancy enough and figure out how to edit this video before we post it to mm -hmm. slice in a photo of this hat <gasps> so hopefully this has happened and you can see it now oh gosh <laughs> Okay. You're so darn cheesy right now. <laughs> so, okay, so hopefully that worked and you got to see his beautiful hat. Of course, when that's ready, I'll be announcing it in the shop newsletter because, you know, it's made from Salem yes. with lots of love. And we might be doing some collaborations with designing. That's true. It is. Because I think that we just both love the city so much that we walk around all the time and just are inspired by everything. Yeah. So and that's something to look forward to as well. Yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, this is our very first video and it's not very long, but we just wanted to get you acquainted with us. Mm -hmm. But hopefully we'll be taking the camera out with us to walk around Salem mm -hmm. and get to show you, you know, what it's like to be here in the Witch City because we love it. Yep, and it's not just only on Halloween. That's true. It's witchy all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think that before we wrap up, though, you should actually unravel that shawl so we can Oh, oh goodness. Everyone. With my, my lovely college... That's okay. Yeah, yeah, we don't have to show the sweater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so isn't that beautiful? So that's knit and fingering weight. Mm -hmm. and yeah, we'll quickly hide your... <laughs> your quickly cut. hide my school sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, so also something that I think that we were talking about maybe was like, we might do like go through the Ravelry Hot Right Now section and maybe pick up some patterns that we liked and wanted to share with you all mm -hmm. at some point and maybe pull it to get um, some color choices that we really love with those 
Yeah, I, you know, of course, we'd like to hear feedback from you folks on what you'd like to see from us, but that's basically our idea is to share what we're working on now, um, share patterns that we're excited mm -hmm. that just got released and some yarn ideas, show you when new stuff comes into the store and share some of Salem. And I guess I should do the part where I share something new that just came in before I forget, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so for those of you who have been around for a little while, you might know that we work with uh, my friend Jess, who goes by Stitched by Jess Alou, and she's done some exclusive uh, bags for us and patterns. And we have one last batch, actually, of our current limited edition um, bags from her. Am I missing one? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So these are the two exclusive fabrics that we have from her. This one's Moon Phases. This one's Fortune Teller. And they come in the tall wedge shape and they come in the box shape. That's really good for like socks and smaller projects. This fits, you know, more shawl sizes. And they are lined with super cute little fabric. And so, oh, here's the other one in the box bag. And so if you've been wanting one of these, um, this is our very last update of these. And the inside of this one is Constellations. Seriously, how cute is that? And the wedges come with the lining as well. And, you know, the cute little bee. That's Jessalou's signature. All right. And so we just have a few of these, and it's our last run, and the price tag just fell off. I'm just really glad everyone can see that this is very much not like a polished production. <laughs> We're just figuring it out as we go. It might get a little bit more polished as we go along. Yeah, maybe. It might. Or we might just like it this way. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you want to share with folks? No, I think I'm good for right now. Okay. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me and my BFF, Jacob. And we hope that you enjoy hearing about our adventures in Salem. <laughs> Bye.